Okay, guys. So, after multiple, uh, I don't know, not informed decisions that I have made, um, what we're going to end up doing, so I was going to get, so I wired it up like this, where it was no, um, so basically I would need to use an external uh, igniter, which would be like the quad spark. Well, kind of did some research and like, so we're trying, the main thing we're trying to fix here is my spark issue or my uh, crank sensor issue. Um, and I don't think that this is going to fix anything. Um, and the other issue was with the LS coils, uh, the spark plug wires I was using, they're kind of junk. So I, I, I want to get away from those, um, those spark plug wires. So we're going to go back to stock, like look full on stock now. Um, so instead of doing what we did here, where I took it apart and made a direct coil, um, we're actually going, I went and got another one with some pigtails and it ha is going to be wired. We're going to wire this one in as a GM, uh, dis, whatever, I don't know, it's called the GM dis. Um, I think it's like a distributor of some sort. It acts as one. Um, it's a module, ignition module. Um. So what we're going to do is, you got your, your power and ground, and then this goes to your crank sensor, or the seven times crank sensor, and then over here, we've got a uh, sensor ground, and then like VR1 gets hooked up to it, and uh, ignition A and B. So, and those get hooked up to here. And then I just got to change a couple settings in uh, micro squirt, and then in theory, we should have this working. Hopefully that's the case. I did a shit ton of research last night and figured out, you know, wh how those wires get hooked up because, uh, like, through MicroSquirt's thing, it doesn't really... It shows you a diagram, but it doesn't say, like, what pin you wire it to. It just says what they do. So I kind of just did some finagling, spoke with some people that know a little bit more about that crap than I do because um, I'm definitely not a professional by any means so but yeah so what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, get this bad boy um, we gotta get it mounted down here um, then I'm gonna I have a stock crank sensor wire um, and I'm gonna try and see if it will reach It'd be nice if it reaches um, I might flip my coils around to make it easier for them to reach um, yeah. so we got it right here, so it's going to be quite the dream, but I can dream it, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Okay, so bonus, uh, so I flipped it around, as you remember, the spark plug wires used to be on this side, now they're on this side, which actually probably makes more sense, um, so we got those, uh, power's plugged in over here with the ground. The only thing I'm a little unsure about, um, so this is an engine ground on this side, and then over here we have to ground it to a uh, micro squirt sensor, or like micro squirt sensor ground. Um, but I know that these two are kind of connected, so I'm not too sure how that's going to work. Um, hopefully it doesn't create issues. Um, worst case scenario it does, we can try unplugging one, but it doesn't say nothing about which set ground to use over here. Um, but this one over here says to use the sensor ground. So we're just going to go based off what it says and we'll see how that goes. Um, so now we're at that point where we need to get this wired in. So like I said, we have uh, two. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure which ones are which right off the top of my head. I believe it's going to be these two will be our spark A and B. And then these two, one will be ignition or like ignition one negative and then this one will be a ground i believe that's actually how they go too so yeah let's just go ahead and get this stuff wired in so let's do this holy shit it runs with that setup hell yeah but now i gotta finalize the wiring okay so by what i mean finalize the wiring is i literally just like quickly connected everything so this is our uh Micro square ground, just grounded to this red wire. Um, this blue wire is A. This is B. 
And then this is the just the negative wire off of VR1. So she started up way better than uh, when it was on the other setup. So that could be progress. Um, I know one thing we're going to probably have to do is set the timing because it was set to negative eight with that old sensor. Oh, hey, I'll show you what settings we had to change. All right. So we went into ignition, ignition options, and wheel decoder. So we changed this from GM seven times to a basic trigger. Set uh, your trigger angle to zero. Um, then you have to uh, bypass spark B, uh, falling edge, going high, ignition one. Those are the ones that you need to set. And then over here for your nominal dwell, set that to three. So that's everything I needed to change to get it to run. So, and that's all it says on the micro square manifold or micro square uh, in the manual. So that easy. So now let's go ahead and get everything freaking soldered and all that good stuff shrink tubed everything get it all routed nicely um yeah freaking sweet okay guys so i got it cleaned up i'm out of test tape so don't really get to get it too pretty um even though i might try and find some more of this braided loom and we can put that on um so yeah it's so we got our so we got power ground and then over here we have, I believe this is, so this is spark B, spark A is the white wire, purple wire is uh, VR1 negative, and then this red wire is your uh, micro squirt ground, and then over here this just gets ran straight down to your crank sensor, or you know, seven times crank sensor, so that's pretty sweet. Um, so what we're going to go ahead now is just pretty much keep tidying up, see if I can get this cleaned up. Um, I'm waiting on Paul, so that way we can time this to make sure that timing is still good, or set timing, whatever we need to set it to. So yeah, let's do that. Alright, so the test begins, even though we've already, we're pretty sure it's not doing it again, but now that the camera's rolling it'll probably do it again. just end this here um i'll probably uh put a video or a, a picture right at the end of this of like my reference point that i made so that way if you're trying to do this you can do it because it's really simple it's just if you're trying to follow like micro squirts and like it's it's i don't know for me it was hard to piece together so i kind of had to like dumb it down so i made a dumbed down picture you'll see it and uh, that'll tell you how to do it. Just pause it and look at it. So, yeah. You guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next one.